Hey guys, welcome to our keynotes. In this video, let's take this problem statement. Uh, we need to perform exception handling using JSP. So we need to accept two numbers from the user and then just need to perform the simple arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And in case if there is any exception, like for example, one divided by zero, it is not possible, right? So it is an exception then we need to handle the exception using an error page. Fine. So now let's dive into NetBeans and then we'll see how to perform the same. So over here, you can see, let me close all the files. And this is my project. Let me zoom this for you. You can see this well. Yeah, my project name is JSP Automatic Operations. So here I'm not using any servlets. I don't use even web.xml file, right? I have only three files. So one is index.html my JSP and then error JSP. So in index.html, this is going to be very simple. And this is index.html, you can see that. And uh, in the form, I'm saying action equal to my JSP. So whenever I click the button, it should go to my JSP. In this, I have the logic, fine. So in index.html, I'm just creating or designing the form. So there are two numbers. So I'm creating two text fields. All right, we have discussed this particular syntax many a times in servlets. So I'm just moving forward. And then again, uh, four buttons. Um, the name is R1 and the values are like addition, divide, division and subtraction and multiplication. Fine, that's it in the form. Now, whenever I click the button, it should go to my GSP. So let me go to my GSP and this is my GSP, you can see that. And then this is a common tag. And this is page directive tag, right? And uh, this is a scriptlet tag where we can write number of lines of, you know, code. Um, so inside the script, inside the scriptlet tag, what I have done is that uh, the two text fields. I'm just going to say request dot get parameter in the text field names, and then I'm going to store the values in this variable number one and number two as it is string. Uh, so I need to do uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, type conversion, like I'm saying integer dot parsing and then passing this variable. So it will be converted into integer and then I'm storing it in a integer data type. Okay. Now, if operation, that is the third variable we have used. So we said that a request dot get parameter, the name R1, R1 is for all the buttons. Fine. So we, we kept the same name. So, so, so that, you know, we can just use if else condition over there. So operation dot equals, if it is addition, then do addition and then print it. Then say else if, then if it is subtraction, then do subtraction, then multiplication, then again division. So it goes like this. Now, if the number A is greater than or equal to B, then only it should divide or else it should say that it cannot be divided. Fine. So I'm cl I'm closing the scriptlet tag here. That's it. So this is the entire code for the my JSP file. Now let me go to the error JSP page. You can see that I've just written three lines in the inside the body. Uh, this you need to say that. Okay, I need to say it true. If there is any exception, fine then i'm using a page directive uh, type that is ease error page so this particular message will be displayed and then i'm saying the exception is this is an expression tag right and then the expression is exception basically you don't need to mention anything like try catch and all those things just you need to write exception so once you write the exception it will just find the root cause of the exception it means it is going to print us what sort of exception happened, arithmetic or array index or, you know, whatever the exception um, we have discussed in previous modules, right? So now let me run this page for you. And then you got the output. So let me say one, one addition, one plus one is two, and then division is fine. Subtraction is zero, and then multiplication is also one. Now, if I do this, say, let's say one divided by zero is not possible, divide. Oops, internal server error. Uh, mm, 
Okay, uh, there is a problem we didn't uh, mention. Uh, one extra line of code should be mentioned. But this is the exception basically, right? The root cause of the exception is java.lang.automatic exception divided by zero. But the thing is that right now the exception occurred, we didn't catch it, and my execution of the program got stopped. Is it? So this is why we need to catch the exception. So now let's close this and then let's go back to NetBeans and we'll fix there. Means in my JSP, I need to say this particular thing. Uh, I need to go with uh, the directive tag and then I need to say uh, error page equal to then we should mention the error page name so error jsp dot jsp so whenever there is an error it should move forward to this particular page that is what we need to mention all right now let me save this and then i'm going to run this particular code again now one zero let's say divide so now you can see that uh, the customized message uh, is getting displayed here this is my message and then we have just called the exception class so you see what it is getting displayed it is from java.lang.automatic exception divided by zero so now the now my program did, they didn't stop right so it it just catches the exception and then it is pr uh, printing the package from where this exception occurred and all so this is how we can use um, error page and then over here is error page uh, directives in jsp right along with the jsp tags we have seen that five different tags we have seen and we have implemented all the tags here like expression uh, tag here directive here and then uh, we have used uh, scriptlet here you can see that the, 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 this is scriptlet fine so and then there is a comment section i mean comment uh, tag uh, still we didn't explore the declaration tag right so that we will see in the next video uh, hope you like this video try this one and then let me know if you have got any queries in the comment section hit the like button if you like the video and do subscribe my channel to get more updates thank you and thanks for watching the video